Find the argument of negative 3 plus 3i and write in polar form. Before we work through this problem, let me explain quickly what the argument of a complex number is. So suppose that we have a complex number here. So this is the complex number z. So obviously there's an angle here, which we can denote by theta. In this case, by the picture, you can see that theta is in the interval negative pi to pi. So this value of theta is called the principal value of the argument. This here is called the principal branch. I'd say, why is it called the principal one? Well, let's focus on the value of the argument. What you can do is, once you get to this angle, you can add 2 pi and you get right back to it. You can also subtract 2 pi and go the other way and get right back to it. In particular, you can add 4 pi, you can add 10 pi. You can add or subtract any multiple of 2 pi and you get the same angle. So we use this notation here, capital A, argz, to denote the value of theta that lives in this interval here, negative pi to pi. And then we say that the argument of z is the set, well, it's this angle here, which I'll call theta, plus 2k pi, where k is an integer. So the principal value of the argument is just a particular angle from this set, arg z. And so we just usually pick this as the principal branch. So we take the angle that lives in this set. Okay, let's go ahead and work this out. I hope that made <laughs> some sense. So solution. So first we find the modulus of the complex number. So that's the square root. And what you do is you square the real and imaginary parts. So it's negative 3 squared plus 3 squared. And so negative 3 squared is 9. So this is 9 plus 9. And so here you get the square root of 18. And you can factor 18 as 9 times 2. So we can do this. And the square root of 9 is 3. So this is 3 square root of 2. Now the way I find uh, the argument is I actually write down the complex number again and set it equal to its polar form. So this is r parentheses cosine theta plus i sine theta. And so r is 3 square root of 2. So this is 3 square root of 2 parentheses cosine theta plus i sine theta. If we divide everything by 3 square root of 2, we end up with negative 3 over the 3 square root of 2 plus 3 over 3 square root of 2 i and that's equal to cosine theta plus i sine theta. Two complex numbers are equal if and only if their real and imaginary parts are equal. So notice these cancel. So let's talk about that first. And this is the real part and this is the real part. So cosine of theta must be equal to negative 1 over the square root of 2. If you multiply this by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2, you end up with negative square root of 2 over 2. Likewise, the imaginary parts must be equal. So the sine of theta must be equal to this. So sine of theta is equal to, let's see, 1 over the square root of 2. And we can rationalize that. So that's square root of 2 over the square root of 2, which is equal to the square root of 2 over 2. So we need theta, so we need theta that lives in the principal branch, so negative pi to pi, such that these equations hold, right, both of these equations simultaneously. So what I like to do is draw a little picture and think about the unit circle, keeping in mind that cosine is the x-coordinate on the unit circle and y is sine is the y-coordinate on the unit circle, uh, we're going to be somewhere over here and it's going to be some type of multiple of pi over 4. So that looks like it's going to be 3 pi over 4. So theta is going to be equal to 3 pi over 4. So this is the principal value of the argument of negative 3 plus 3i. It's one of the values from the set argz. 
Now let's go ahead and write everything down in polar form. So to recap, we had negative 3 plus 3i, and that was r, so r was 3 square root of 2. And then we had cosine of theta, which we said was 3 pi over 4. And then here we have i sine of 3 pi over 4, parentheses, parentheses. We can write this in shorthand notation as 3 square root of 2, cis, 3 pi over 4. So that's the polar form, or also called trigonometric form, of the complex number. And in this case, the principal value of the argument, negative 3 plus 3i, was 3 pi over 4. If you like, we can actually write down the actual set, argz. It's pretty easy to do. So the argument of negative 3 plus 3i, it is a set, right? It has infinitely many values. It's the principal value of the argument, so 3 pi over 4. And then we can add and subtract any multiple of 2 pi. So we can write that as plus 2k pi, where k is an integer. So that's the set arg of negative 3 plus 3i. So it's a set of all of the possible arguments. This is the principal one. So I hope that made sense. And again, the principal one in our example is chosen to be the only one in this interval here. Um, I hope that helps.